Yo, what's up with it? It's your boy Nooney. It's Leo in the third house, and we back with another read. Yo, what's up with it? This your boy Nooney, and this Leo in the third house, back with another reader. This is gonna be another pick a card reader. We're gonna be asking the question, what's being removed from your life and why? So I thought about this for a little bit. Um, I think this was suggested by a viewer, uh, Hive Mind. Thank you. Um, I was just curious about it. Just want to see what plays out, what happens. And this will always be something good to look back on. So, as always, I'm going to do my best. Um, just a little bit of ginger tea. I made it homemade. It's sitting here steeping now. Some ginger and lime tea with some uh, local honey. It's going to be scrumptious. Can't wait. That's going to be breakfast. That and a bottle of water. So... Um, as always, thanks to those people who be liking, sharing, subscribing, comment. Thanks to those people who booked those personal readings yesterday. Thank you very much. I'll get on them ASAP. Um, and just thank all you guys for being here. Just, you know me I mean, enjoying it. You know, and thanks for trusting me always, you know. Even if it doesn't always seem practical or seem to make sense when it plays out, thanks for coming back and confirming it. I very much value those. Um, and uh, I think that's about it. You know, I don't have too much announcements. I'm just here. <laughs> uh, so I'll probably go live pretty soon. Uh, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Uh, somewhere soon in here because I want to do another All Signs. Um, I think that's it. But anyway, I'm going to give you a second to look at the close-up of the, uh, the stones. And then I'll be back so you can pick your pile. Okay, so we back. This is pile one. This is pile two. This is pile three. This is pile four. All right. Take a second. I'm going to get started over here with pile one. Boom. Pile one. So, pile one. What's being removed from your life and why? Okay, so Okay, so this is a person Alright So you're going to be walking away from a person Possibly a place Like a house Or If it's not a house It's a, it's a relationship where you don't really feel safe It's difficult all right, uh, you may have problems expressing yourself or they may have problems expressing themselves. Okay, so let me give you the signs. We have Virgo, Leo, Gemini, and that's what I got, okay? So it could be you, it could be them, or it could just be someone who's very charismatic and very bold with the way they communicate. They could be very analytical, very smart, very talkative, very social. Um, they could be outgoing, um, and they could be very attractive. Right. They could be attractive in the way that they present themselves with their energy. You know, maybe they're very bubbly, very um, excitable, you know, what I mean, or they're just very bold, just very kind of like forthright. It could be something like that. Um, but anyway, I get the first card out was conclusions are within reach. So that means that this is a situation that's closing out and you're being tasked or being uh, being put in front of like two paths of deciding on whether to wait at this door and cry and hope that it opens up or move along into a new opportunity that's about to be presented to you all right this could be somebody who's from your past because we have self node or this could be some skills or some type of skill set that you've learned from the past that you're still exercising so like past behaviors are possibly not clear like not speaking your mind being foggy headed so some for some of you you guys will probably be quitting maybe like uh 
smoking, uh, drinking, or something that doesn't allow you to have a clear head because they're asking you to clear your mind. So you're going to be getting out of this energy. Oh, and you're going to be releasing uh, beliefs from the past or like uh, maybe relationships from the past or just the way that you expressed yourself in the past, the way that you presented your ego. You know, maybe that was like um, you weren't really expressing it in a certain way, you know, because we got life is a mystery, which is usually about uh, being and it's in reverse. So it's about being afraid of pursuing the unknown, of being afraid of going out and, you know, not knowing how a reaction may happen. So let's say if you want to speak your mind and you're not used to speaking how you feel or putting yourself out there, presenting yourself out as this charismatic, charming, intellectual type of person, then this would be you clearing that out. You know, you'll be, you'll be like sorting through this. This would be you taking a risk and you'll probably be lightening up because it says life laughter is the sound of the soul laughing. So I feel like you'll be lightening up. All right. And be trusting in your intuition. Um, what you're going to be releasing is this feeling. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cause you're going to be healing this energy of self-worth of not feeling worthy. So spirit is going to be sending you a lot of downloads, sending you a lot of information, sending you a lot of ideas, you know, or just, you know, weird thoughts that you normally wouldn't think or thoughts that you've never thought before you know, cont containing or uh, pertaining to this situation. This will be happening here. All right. Um, there's going to be a sense of pride that you're going to get from this. All right. So currently you may not be feeling, uh, is your home a place you feel safe and secure? So this could be somebody you live with who you may not feel secure with, or just your house just doesn't feel secure. Maybe they know where you live. Maybe, you know, it's not feeling stable. Maybe it's, you know, something like that. Maybe, you know, you're worrying about that. There's a possibility of being worried about that soon. Um, it says, do you feel hardships and problems in your life that you can't seem to see the light for? Okay, so this isn't just a relationship too. This is also not knowing what lies ahead of you. All right, so you're going to be releasing that fear of not knowing what lies ahead of you. And with clear your, your mind, this could be, <coughs> excuse me, thank you. This could be um, having too many thoughts, too many irons and, you know, too many ideas going at one time and not trusting in the process, not trusting that things will work themselves out anyway. You know, so you're carrying on a burden. You're going to be releasing that. All right, you're going to be coming to an energy of feeling very cherished, very supported. Um, it says people led by spirit do not make any sense to those who are not. So you're going to be acting different. Maybe I was going to say irrational. What's going to be appearing irrational to other people? And it's just because spirit is leading you because this is crown chakra. So spirit is going to be giving you downloads and you're going to be maybe acting unusual to how you normally act or thinking unusual to how you normally act, but you're not going to be afraid. So you're going to be releasing that fear of expressing yourself, of putting yourself out there with the ego. But this is a healthy sense of pride. This isn't the ego that is narcissistic or that takes advantage or makes other people feel small. This is just the ego that makes you feel strong, makes you feel confident, self-assured and worthy of what you're maybe communicating or worthy of how you're presenting yourself. All right. Cause that's, that's what it was about for you. It was a fear of not knowing what happens when you express yourself, not knowing what happens when you put yourself out there in this way. And like, it's a bold, attractive type of way. So when you put yourself out there, people are going to like it, right? You may just been kind of projecting onto your, your future, something based on the past because the past is here, which is the self node, which is about reviewing. So you're possibly going to be like letting go of how you felt or considered yourself expressing yourself or putting yourself out there. You're going to be reviewing that and you're going to be closing that out. But I also was picking up a relationship. This could be with a masculine figure, even if it's a woman, it could be with like the masculine figure, someone who's very, I wasn't going to, I was going to say domineering, but I felt like dominant. Like, so maybe they had control of the relationship or they have, uh, you know, the overall advantage of the relationship or they're giving off the appearance of having that, you know what I mean? Where they're not really caring for your feelings and your emotions. You may be reviewing this relationship and releasing it, calling an ending to it. Um, after clearing it through your mind and sorting through some of the ideas and the thoughts that aren't yours, this is uh, crown chakra again. So you're going to be getting spirit is, is all in this. And whenever these cards are in reverse, it means that spirit is taking the lead here. So spirit is going to be all in this, but it's going to be all in the way that you're thinking and the way that you're communicating your thoughts. The thoughts that are going to be coming in are going to be spirit. Spirit is going to be talking to you during this period in time. Okay. <laughs> Something's going to be revealed here to you. Something that you kind of can see already, but you're just not really 
seeing all the details. It's like something, it feels like something is obscuring the view of it. Like you can see it, but it seems like there may be just like, like, like you can see my face, but there's my hand in the face. So you can see some of me, but you can't see all of me. That's kind of what the subject is where you can see some of it, but you can't see all of it. And you're being tasked with following spirit and trusting in spirit into this unknown and just trusting in the, the mystery of life because you don't really know what's going to happen but with enough confidence and pride and self-esteem and this healthy sense of ego that you're going to have you're going to be able to handle it and task tackle it now here's what else is going on with this relationship though it says this person better get out of here with that amber heard fake crime bull they stabbed you in the back so this is someone who betrayed you all right, this is someone who, like I said, they were very domineering or just someone who's just in their ego, in their unhealthy sense of ego. They only care for themselves. They could be selfish. All right, it says, you see a lot, but you don't say a lot. People think you don't know because you don't say anything, but you are completely wrong about it. So that's what's going to be happening. You're going to be expressing yourself. That's what I was saying. You might have been afraid of rocking the boat. All right, so you're going to start, I guess, rocking the boat, you know, and this is going to get you out, out of uh, maybe feeling less than if that's the feeling here because it's just a feeling like not feeling like you're you're able to express yourself it's like what if i express myself and people get mad what if i express myself and it hurts people's feelings what if i put myself out here in this way and people don't like it so then what life goes on those weren't your people you know what i mean you can't go wrong with your people but that's what this is about because this could be a friend this could be a friend group that you're no longer in uh, with the Three of Cups in reverse, and the Hermit here too. And the Hermit could be feeling like you're left out from a friend group, left out from uh, you know certain celebrations and parties, you know, not getting invites. But it's also in a relationship. This could be like a third person party where you're feeling left out, where maybe you guys were together and then he got another relationship, or he he snuck in and got a side girl, or she snuck in and got a side guy, and they've been spending more time than you guys, or you know, or just friends. Maybe they've been putting in more energy and time into friends. And they just left you out. Cause that's what it is. We got the three of wands and we got the five of swords. So it's like they're not willing to negotiate. There's a blockage. There's also a feeling of pessimism. It could be because of long distance. You know, it could also be because of lack of communication. You know, and it's just that feeling of wonder. Like if I walk away, you know, cause that's what the conclusions within reach. They're like a five of swords in reverse. It's a wondering if, if I walk away, will I have won or will I have lost? You know, so you're going to be leaving, you know, what I mean? you're going to be considering this and putting like deep contemplation on this and probably uh, examining this more finely. You know, I think of Virgo, I mean, Hermit as being the Virgo because it is ruled by Virgo. All right. Oh, this is a Virgo. I'm sorry. I didn't tell you all that. So, yeah, Virgo. We got Virgo, Leo, Gemini. And that was it. I think maybe I did say Virgo. Hmm. <clears throat> all right. But anyway, that's what this is about. All right. This is about you stepping up and becoming a leader or showing your leadership qualities all right so two things a relationship you're going to probably review and let go of all right and then the desire to put yourself out there in a in a prideful way in a way that gets uh attention that draws attention you're going to be doing that all right you may be afraid currently but your third eye chakra is here which is being activated which has to do with your perception of you and the perception of the world, but your perception of reality overall. And with spirit here giving you uh, downloads from your from your crown chakra to your third eye, this is like a perfectly clear picture. Spirit is going to be giving you downloads, information, you know, thoughts, ideas, wisdom, right? That comes from nowhere. It's going to feel like, where did that come from? I've never thought like that before. That's kind of weird. It's going to feel like that. But you're going to see it so clearly that you think, maybe I'm tripping. It's going to feel like that. It's going to feel like maybe I'm tripping. This is so clear. Like what I just thought was so clear, I've never thought that way before. That's what it is when you're in alignment. So you're going to become in alignment. Spirit is just leading you where you need to be. And all you need to do is just relax. Just go with the flow. Go with the flow of life. You're being encouraged to step up. All right. Now, you could, you're, you're going to probably need to take the lead. So if this is a relationship, you're going to be taking the lead of this. You'll probably call an ending to it. You'll be one taking the lead here, right? Um, if it is, you know, you are coming out and expressing yourself, you're still going to be taking the lead of it because you're going to be taking the ideas and the synchron synchronicities and all the things that are lining up and starting to notice them and be like, oh, okay, it's time. I see what I need to do. So you're going to be taking charge of that, all right? You know, then the why is because you've been experiencing a lot of blockages, a lot of conflict, a lot of 
maybe having to haggle or negotiate your value. You know, because the five of swords for me is a negotiating. You know what I mean? It's, it's a peaceful resolution. It's trying to find some like a middle ground for you, a middle ground for me, while not trying to speak so harshly. All right. So you may be changing that. You might, like I said, you probably coming off as like a people pleaser, being gentle, not really expressing to people how you felt about things, not really like, cause it's like a fear of like, what happens if it doesn't go the way that I think it should go. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that. It's like you're tiptoeing around. And so you're going to be getting over that. And this could be like with a relationship, but it could just be in general with like a friendship group, you know, feeling like you no longer have friends, feeling outcasted, feeling left out, you know, but wanting to be back around people, waiting for the next opportunity to show up, waiting for your ships to come in. It's like you're waiting for the good times to show up, you know, and it's like I may even have to fight for this if I need to. So you're going to, this is why, like you may feel like you had to fight for this or you may feel like you had to negotiate, you know what I mean, your right or your worth. And you're going to be getting out of that energy. That's going to be healing. All right. Now, this person who you could have been dealing with, they could be, um, uh, I was going to say a slimy person, of course, because they back, they, they backstabbed you or they betrayed you. But I was thinking of them as being uh, a really sleek, slick person, maybe like a night, a night type of person, person who stays up late, person who's very stealthy. You don't really see what they're doing. You can't see it, but you know it. So your intuition probably got stronger in this relationship. And that's what intuition is. You got third eye and uh, crown chakra. There's intuition here. And with spirit here, uh, life is a mystery. This is also needing to trust in your intuition. So this probably, this whole situation of either learning to express yourself or this whole situation of calling an end into this previous relationship has actually taught you to trust in your intuition. So it's that. So a lot of healing has happened here, and that's currently what you're going through. You're going to be healing, I guess, this aspect of yourself of not feeling confident enough or not feeling powerful enough and being scatterbrained or being having so many eyes or so many ideas going on at one time that you're not able to put your best talents and gifts out into the world. OK, so you're going to be lightening up for sure, because I guess the hardships that you're having or that you're worrying about. They're not, they're not nothing to be wary. Spirit got you. So if you're having hardships with like housing or hardships of feeling safe or secure, no need to worry. Spirit's got you. You're covered. Just, you're covered. Don't you trip. You hear me? Here's your advice though. Healing. Listen to your heart. Love is the greatest healer. It has the capacity to balance and heal your emotions thoughts and perceptions, which in turn will heal you physically. Your angels are here with you and will help you dissolve your fear. Trust in the power of love to guide you and your life will magically transform. This card is confirmation that healing is occurring right now. All right. And look, it's purple crown chakra. So spirit is all in here, giving you information, giving you downloads, showing you synchronicities, showing you signs like, look, look, it's your time. You see this? It's time to move away. It's time to take charge. It's time to step up. It's time to express yourself. You are worthy. You are valuable. Look here. Do you see that you're valued? Look here. Do you see how much impact you make? These type of things will be showing up in front of you and you'll be like, oh, and it'll be time for you to step up and take charge, take lead of a situation or just take charge of who you are and put yourself out there. Present yourself in a way that's strong, magnetic, but it's also charismatic, it's charming, you know, it's self-assured. So that's going to be happening and it's going to be very clear articulation because we have Gemini, which is the communicator. All right. So you're going to be doing this. OK, this is going to be after some time of some self-reflection. All right. And a little bit of a feeling of like feeling like you're blocked. And what this does is every time you're blocked from doing something, it causes you to reroute, to work around it, to find other avenues. And this is going to be important for you. This is going to help you grow. All right. So you're going to grow through some type of tension. And this is why like this, you're, you're releasing some type of tension. All right. It could be just walking away, you know, and, and maybe not saying anything with the hermit here. Sometimes this is like a ghosting for me with the five of swords that's walking away. So you could be walking away. It could be ghosting someone. But I would definitely think that you're probably going to say something because of the five of swords. The five of swords usually is about a contentious person, someone who says things at any cost and doesn't care if they hurt people's feelings. So you may hurt someone's feelings or when you start expressing yourself, it may cause conflict with people. It may hurt their feelings. But. That doesn't matter. You're healing an aspect of yourself that didn't put you out there, that didn't express how you felt, that didn't, you know, genuinely feel confident enough in what you were saying or what you were, 
Yeah, mostly in what you're saying or thinking, you know, to really put yourself out there in a way that would change, you know, your di- change either the dynamic or change your environment or change your friend group or change maybe the excitement because, you know, you're feeling like you're not having excitement at this time. But the, with the hermit and the three of cups in reverse, with the feeling of not having excitement, feel like being left out, isolated, you know, could just be staying home, staying away from friends or, you know, I mean, it's just that type of energy, like not doing anything and, and feeling like if I do anything, I'll hurt somebody's feelings. You're going to be, you're going to be healing that. All right. Here's your last bit of advice. Eternity. Gently move your awareness from the eternal world to a world of light within your heart. Each, uh, allow each breath to heal you as you drift to a place beyond time. Eternity exists within you forever sparkling like a diamond. You are in essence a shining star, forever transforming to ever greater light. So this is your heart chakra. This is about self-love, all right? And then we have worthy here. So you're gonna be coming into that energy of feeling worthy, loving yourself. It says there are connections to ancestral and childhood patterns and memories that are ready to be healed. So this is something that happened in your childhood that you've been carrying on, behaviors that you've been carrying on. This relationship could probably be people from your childhood. Any of that, this is you healing an old version of yourself who you probably seen yourself as a child. One day I was talking with my daughter's mom, this is a while ago though, and she was saying, this was like years ago, but she was talking about how she didn't feel like an adult. You know what I mean? Even though she was an adult, she had a house, she had a car, she has a job, you know, she's helping other adults and she just didn't feel like an adult, you know? And so that could be a stage for you where you didn't quite feel like you were an authoritarian of your life. You might've been allowing other people or their opinions or how other people felt and infringe on your freedoms and your liberties. You know what I mean? So this is you healing that. And that, that comes from childhood behavior. So you're probably healing that shortly. It's healing currently right now, but you're going to probably become more aware of it in the, in the weeks to come. All right. So pile one, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This your boy Nooney and it's Leo in the third house. Boom. Pile two. So pile two. Uh, what's being removed from your life and why? Okay. Okay, so you're gonna be releasing this energy of feeling overwhelmed. Okay, that's the first thing I've seen. It says this is a challenging phase in your life that is about to pass. So that's gonna be what's gonna be removed from your life. That feeling of feeling overwhelmed, of feeling confused, of feeling like you're in the dark and you're not really seeing things clear. Also be healing maybe boundaries or that feeling of being a people pleaser. Because we have Libra with Neptune energy. Neptune for me is always about not having boundaries or not really seeing situations clearly. And with Libra there, that's a people pleaser type of person. They always see both. So they can you could do a Libra wrong and they can see why you did them wrong. While that's not really a wrong thing, sometimes that can be codependent and sometimes that can be toxic on their end because it can stop them from getting their needs met. So you're going to be removing that. And you're going to be acting right, in a more independent, more selfish way. All right, this is putting you first, me, 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 me. So you're gonna be in a me, 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 me type of energy. Now, let's go over the signs. You could be a Taurus, you could be a Gemini, you could be a Libra, you could be a Pisces, you could be an Aries, you could be a Scorpio, you could be an Aquarius, could be a Taurus, could be a Leo, could be a Leo, could be a Sagittarius, could be an Aries, could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or you could be an Aquarius. So we got a lot of air, a lot of fire, and just a little bit of water. So that would be Pisces, all right? And we got Taurus. But we got a lot of Aquarius energy, so this is gonna be um, 
sporadic energy. This is going to be spontaneous energy because we also have fire here and air. This is like being able to change your mind or change direction at the drop of a dime. So something like that may be happening. But what they're saying is that your dreams need a practical plan. So whatever you're working towards, you're needing to set a, a solid foundation, a solid ground to it. All right. Now, you, need, you may need to be diplomatic. Communication is going to be key to this. So you're going to be wanting to take action and you may be a bit impulsive when you do this. You know, you're going to want to take charge. All right. So this has to do with spirituality and illusions. So you're going to be removing this and trusting in the universe. So, hmm. I feel like you may be charging into the unknown. Okay. Becoming more grateful. All right. You're going to be releasing this feeling of being, oh, it says, are you realizing you have an emotional dependency to someone because of your past traumas? So you're going to be releasing that, removing, this is going to be removed from your life. This feeling of being confused and living in like a fantasy world and, you know, being a people pleaser or doing for others in a way that wouldn't be done for you, that's going to be changing. That's why I said, I feel like you're going to be in more selfish energy, but you're going to be recognizing that you've had a, a, a codependent like a code, maybe what is it? An de emotional dependency on someone who, from the past, you know, so be based on some type of trauma you had. So you're gonna recognize some type of trauma that you've been carrying around that has made you dependent on someone else emotionally. Okay, it's gonna probably come through a communication or a conversation with someone. Could be with a Taurus, could be with a Libra, could be with a Gemini, could be with an Aquarius, because these are the signs that are connected. But it could also come from. A Pisces, all right, because these these signs are connected to this message here. So it could be that. What they said is stay in the fight and stay determined. Your faith is your faith and hope together will bring success to your chosen path. All right. So this is also another story. So it also has to do with your creativity, it has to do with your artistry, um, has to do with we got Aquarius here a lot, so this is internet. Okay, so something creative based on the internet. Um, you may I don't know if you're going to really, maybe, maybe that's being removed from you or just the feeling of being confused while being a creator, being an artist, being a rapper, being a influencer, something like that. You know what I mean? You could be somebody who communicates here, communicates a lot. He may be even self-indulgent, but I feel like you're going to be coming, coming into this energy of being more focused on you. All right. And that's going to probably clear up a lot of things here because they're saying stay in the fight, stay determined. So they don't want you to stop. They don't want you to quit. And it says dream your world into into being. So this means that you're being too grounded or you're or you were having unrealistic expectations about how things could be. You know, what I mean, so that's like saying um, next week I want to have 50,000 subscribers. I mean, things can happen. This isn't an impossible feat. Things can happen. But realistically, if we're being practical, which is what the first car I was. If we're being practical, next week doesn't look like 50,000 subscribers, though it could happen. I'm not saying that I don't, I wouldn't be open and allow it to happen, but being practical, I could see maybe 400 subscribers, 500 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers. Depends on how much work and effort I put in, I can see a reasonable number, maybe even 2,000 in a week. You know, more can happen, but I would expect maybe 2,000 as opposed to 50,000 in one week. Like you, you're, you're realistic. I mean, your expectations will become more practical, more grounded, and you'll be willing to take the time and the effort. So that fear and that confusion or that confused feeling that you have, that's what's being removed from your life. Instead, you're just going to be acting on impulse and on desire, instinct. You know what I mean? Like an Aries, instinct. What I want to do, I'm going to go do that. How do I feel about it? Well, that's all it is then. And that's really where you're going to be at was only caring about how you feel about it, how you see it, and moving forward. All right. So you might, like I said, you're probably releasing that energy of being a people pleaser. Like you're a fair minded person. So, you, you know, I always think about like Libra moons or Libra, uh, Libra Mars, Libra Mars and Libra moon. People are like that. Even Libra Mercury people are like that. So you may have like a placement like that. Um, you're going to start following your instincts, though. That's going to be what's going to happen here. Um, and the reason this is happening is because things haven't been going in your control. Like you feel like things are out of your control. You feel like you're not able to get what it is that you really desire. There's a feeling of like being a bit jealous and there's a feeling of sometimes being a bit uh, pushy or like intimidating to other people. You know what I mean? And it, and then like just kind of like chopping off at the mouth, just saying what you want to say, putting your foot in your mouth at times. 
This is why this is why you're going to be doing it. Instead of being confused and feeling like you need to appease the other people, you're just going to do what you want to do with no care about how they feel about it. And this is because you've done this already. You've already put your mouth, put your foot in your mouth, and it hasn't gotten none of the things that you wanted. Like you've already like uh, influenced other people or gave imp people information, whether it was right or not, you've given them information and it could be like unsolicited un information or unsolicited advice. And it could be towards healing or it could just be like self project because uh, I'm, because the star is here and this could be about uh, projection. I always look at the star in reverse as projection. Someone's projecting on you, uh, this perfectness or this, this bitterness or this, this like, you know, they, they're projecting on you something that's within them. So you've been projecting on others, something that's within you, you know, that feeling of putting your, yourself in your mouth, like being too, being too bold and being too, too, uh, impulsive with the way that you communicate to people. Things weren't like going in your favor, so it made you jealous. It makes you a little harsh. It makes you very critical of other people and it made you project onto other people. And this is why you're gonna get out of that energy because it hasn't led you anywhere. It hasn't got you what you wanted. You know, things didn't go in your favor when you did that. Things instead went awry. You know, this is part of like a karmic lesson because we got the Wheel of Fortune here. So this is a part of a karmic lesson, part of a karmic cycle that you are meant to experience. This has to do with you delving into your subconscious, all right, and getting over that feeling of feeling overwhelmed. Because you got heart chakra here, and it says, I am overwhelmed. So you're going to be getting over that. This has to do with your feelings and your emotions being clouded, being, you know, I, I feel like a, a ocean, you know what I mean, where it's just like swarming around and you're just like, mm, I don't really know how I'm feeling. You're going to be getting out of that because what you're doing is taking on other people's taking on other people's mess and it's carrying you, it's burning you, it's making you heavy. So you're going to be getting rid of that. All right. Um, you're going to start trusting in the universe. So you're going to build a plan. You're going to build, start, well, even if you don't necessarily build a plan, let's just say you build a routine, a schedule. You know, usually I think of schedules and routines being Virgo, but we have earth energy and earth energy. They all are similar. So even if you're not necessarily uh, building like a concrete plan, you're becoming more practical about what you can do, what your limits are, what your abilities are. And you're going to be working towards that. You could also just be taking care of your health, really focusing on you know, your health, your physical stature, your house, your money, something practical, something grounded, physical. All right, and you're gonna be trusting the universe to provide. All right, so you're gonna be getting downloads because we got purple here. You're gonna be getting downloads and you're definitely gonna be communicating because we have throat chakra here. So you're gonna definitely be communicating, okay? They want you to stay in the fight, all right? This is a challenging phase in your life that's about to be removed. It's about to be over and it has to do with illusions. It has to do with confusion. It has to do with being a people pleaser. It has to do with not communicating or not having clear set plan or clear set goals. Instead, you're going to be communicating what you plan to do. What are your goals? What are your intentions? Where do you want this to go? And you're going to be direct. So you're not going to be fluctuating back and forth. You're not going to be doing that. You're going to release that. That Libra energy, even if you are a Libra, that Libra energy of being indecisive or not being able to pick sides, guess what you're going to be able to do? Pick sides. Yep. And not care. Mm-hmm. Go you. Because that's pretty much what it's about. You might come off as a little bit bitter to people. Sour bad taste in their mouth. That might happen. All right. So it says this is a time for planning. So the time for planning is complete. Take action. No matter how small begin today. So today, start it today. When this reading drops today, start it. That's what they're saying with the Aries energy and it's lined up with the Aries energy that says act. So that means that you're going to be moving fast, making imp impulsive decisions, but going forward, taking, putting yourself first. Okay. This is about you being selfish for yourself. And this is going to in turn change your consciousness. So subconsciously you were working on a program that was making you be more of a people pleaser, making you uh, afraid, not maybe afraid, but just kind of confused. Like you would come off and say what you want to say and you'd be very bold and very blunt. But at the same time you felt like, Ooh, maybe I put my foot in my mouth. Cause we got the Knight of Swords and Knight of Swords is a person who can put his foot in his mouth. Sometimes he's, he's educated. And he knows what he's saying, but he doesn't really think it through. So that's here. And with the star here in reverse, like I said, that's that energy of self-projection of, you know, projecting on others, uh, either a worse version of them or a better version of them, making them seem perfect, making them seem demonistic or, you know what I mean? So this is why this is all happening. But this could also be about you running towards healing. You know, you could be going towards healing yourself or going towards tending for your own garden. And this is probably what this is all about, why this is being removed, because it was pushing you towards 
tending to your own stuff, not caring what other people got going on. This is about you focusing on you. This is a selfish act. And this isn't a negative selfish act. This is about what matters for you. Building a plan and working towards it. Getting uh, active. You know, that was my word, getting active. They don't want you to stop fighting. They want you to go after the things you really desire that you really want. You know, there's no need for jealousy. Things aren't going in your favor because you're thinking of other people and that's hindering you and slowing you down. So when you want to move forward and get a desire or a goal, you're wondering, what will they say if I go after that? You know, they'll probably think of me as being this, you know, they'll probably project me as being this monster or being this bad guy or being this bad girl or, you know, whatever. That's you projecting onto them what you think is their reality. That's not your business. That's where the confusion is coming from because you're thinking too much about other people. So once you get out of that, once you get out of that and come into this selfish energy where you only think about what you think, you know what I mean? Well, I want to do this today. And then you, then you do it. And people are like, well, I would have done that. I don't care what you would have done. It's not about you. This is about me and my experience. And that's what, what this is all about. This is why all that is being removed, that feeling of being confused and worried and needing to be balanced or fair-minded with other people, that's going away. You're not gonna be worrying about that. You're gonna be doing what you wanna do, okay? And this could come from a conversation. Someone may be flirting with you or this could be like a deep conversation that had to be had. Um, this could be like a more grounded conversation, a more mm, solemn, I wanna say solemn, S-O-L-E-M-N, like a more somber, relaxed, chill conversation. So they're not gonna be very excited. They're gonna be more down to earth, real relaxed. It's gonna be very clear, very sensible. You know what I mean? This could be with somebody who's very social. So this is where this is gonna be like brought out to you. It's gonna be brought to your your recognition, like something's gonna be brought to you. This is how you're gonna recognize that this situation is going on. And you're gonna recognize when it's time to remove all these you know, so maybe somebody tries to infringe on, on, on how you feel, but they're going to do it in a way that seems practical and grounded. And it's going to make you realize that someone's been ham hampering your dreams, that they've been uh, stepping on your dreams, stepping on your hopes, your wishes, that they haven't really been, um, that they might have even been putting up an illusion or they've been putting up some type of facade that's not really them. This is going to become clear to you, all right? And this is going to make you want to act in a way that's just for you and no longer for other people, okay? So, you're gonna recognize that you're moving. Like, I am moving. I'm, I'm getting things done. You know what I mean? So maybe you were doubting your abilities or doubting that you were going as fast or that you were being as successful or that you were making headroom. You are. You're gonna start recognizing that, like you are. Like, oh, last year I was doing it this way. This year I'm doing this. Or last week I was acting this way or speaking this way. This week, I'm doing this. And it's going to be from downloads from spirit. Spirit is going to give you some downloads. There's going to be some wisdom that's going to come in here. And this is going to create uh, an energy of you needing to act in a way that is only about you. So being bold and daring and confrontational, assertive. That's going to be happening. That's going to be happening. It was similar to power one, but power one is a little bit different. But this one is similar to that too. You're going to be bold, charismatic, but you're going to be bold and you know, fearless, doing what you want to do. So let's go over the reading one more time. Let's go over signs. We have Taurus, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Pisces, Aries, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Leo, Cancer, not Cancer, Cancer, maybe Cancer, but not Cancer. They're not here on this board. Um, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Aquarius again, and Libra Gemini Aquarius again, okay? So, Pow 2, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This your boy Nooney, and it's Leo in the third house. Oh, shoot. You still here? Pow, uh, Pow 3, Pow 2. Let me read your, your advice. Your advice says, express how you feel clearly, lovingly, and honestly, without judgment or fear. Say it exactly like it is. All will be resolved when you express to others how you truly feel. Trust in the power of life to guide you and heal all concerned. Hmm. Self-expression is liberating and healing. Okay, so pile number two. That was your advice. Thanks for still staying here while I did that because I almost lost it.
Anyway, that was your reading. Boom, pile three. So, pile three, what's being removed from your life and why? Okay, so you could be a Leo, a Taurus, a Scorpio, an Aquarius. You could be a Pisces, a Virgo, a Cancer, a Libra, a Capricorn, a Pisces, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So this could be you. This could be those people that are involved. If there's people involved here, who knows? We won't know until we finish it up. But I feel like you're going to be a lot more gentler. All right. Um, this probably has to do with your nutrition and your diet. I feel you probably be changing up your diet, getting more nutritional. Um, I think you'll be staying because hold your vision is the first card out. And that's about staying put. It's a fixed energy. So staying put. So you might be staying at your job. Or you may be having a greater vision that fluctuates. Maybe you think about working. Maybe you think about, maybe you're thinking about like two different careers because it's almost like that or two different ways to make income or two different schedules, routines, two different something like that, two different things because you're fluctuating. You're going to release that energy and you're just going to be more focused, laser beam on one thing, all right? Because what we got in the middle is uh, Neptune energy. And this is about vision. So you could be also having deeper visions. You could be tapping in more to your spiritual gifts because we got high priestess here. So you could be tapping more into your spiritual gifts or tapping more into your intuition, your psychic abilities that you may not even know that you have. Okay. There's going to be energy of you feeling a lot loved and feeling, oh, so you're going to be working through that, that feeling of not feeling loved, of not feeling like you can take control or take charge, not taking control, but not feeling like you can step up and lead. Like not feeling like you can be a person um, who other people can depend on. You're going to be pushing through that type of insecurity. You're going to be releasing that. With Neptune here, this can be a, a need of, it could be a, a feeling of not seeing things very clearly, not seeing your past very clearly and not seeing the future very clearly, but looking at what's happening around you right now and not being able to make sense of it because of what's happening in the past and what you envision happening in the front. So you're going to be coming out of that. You're going to be releasing that energy of, of maybe worrying about what will happen next or focusing on what happened in the past and just knowing that you're loved and you're cared for. You're going to be working through that insecurity. Now, this could have to do with work, all right? This could have to do with like your daily routines and all that stuff or like clients or co-workers, cause, you know, it's four from I mean, six house. I think about it like co-workers, people that you see on a regular basis, consistency of some sort. All right, this could do with that. Could with, do with you having be insecure around work or insecure around like service or your health. So you're going to be focusing on those things. All right, you're going to be a lot more gentler with the words that you speak to yourself and the words that you speak to others. Okay, so there, you may fluctuate between that though because I got uh, the, this and that are true. So there may be a fluctuation between that where you might have been very rigid where you only seen things one way. All right, and, but you're going to do that towards work. So you're going to hold a vision, some type of, um, some type of, I want to say a finish line, but some type of goal that you have for at work, you're going to be holding that vision. You're going to be holding that in your mind, in your mind's eye. Like you're not going to deviate from that. There is no negotiation on that. So whatever that may be, it's got to do with your dreams and you going after them. All right. But you're going to talk to yourself a lot more gentler. So if you make a mistake, you're not going to be like, damn it, Danny, why did I make that dumbass decision? Or you're going to be like, Susie, if, you, you know, if, you know, if your name is Susie, you're not going to be like, damn, Susie, why'd you do that? You're not going to say that. You're going to relax. You're like, okay, it's okay. It's okay. I can, I can do this. I can work around this. It's not, you know what I mean? And that's probably what's kept you from wanting to step up, had you in a fear of like, because Virgo is perfectionism, wanting to get it right, wanting to do this the right way. And if it goes wrong, then I have to take responsibility for it. And I don't like to get things wrong. And that's, that could be what you're working through. You know what I mean? Working through not feeling good enough. Because whenever Virgo shows up, it's, it's an energy of never feeling good enough. There's more I could have done. I should have did this. Oh, I should have made that move. Damn, how did I let that go by me? How did I miss this? It's that type of energy. You know, like feeling like things slip past you. 
right? It says, don't overthink, just go with the flow and don't let anyone or don't let someone manipulate you and make you insecure. They want you to stay caged in the shadow. So yeah, you're going to be expressing yourself uh, in some way. So you're going to be pushing through any insecurity that you had, any feeling of not feeling good enough, of not feeling like you're doing it as best as you can, you know, working towards a goal or working towards some type of vision or end result that you have. This could be at work, but this could, like I said, could be towards health, could be towards like nutrition, fitness, work, colleagues. Um, I even thought like service or like giving the people you know, so something like that. So maybe if you're giving to people or you're doing something for people or providing a service for people, you may not feel like you're good enough. You're going to be releasing that, working through that insecurity. All right. Holding your vision means staying stern or staying stubborn, staying fixed on what you desire to see happen. So you're going to be doing that. OK, so it says a wedding is taking place. Is it yours? So maybe you're getting married. Maybe you're getting married. And it says walking. Are you having trouble finishing what you started? So if you're not getting married, this is a this is a celebration, all right? This is a culmination, a finishing of something. Because a wedding is like is like a finished stage of something, of a relationship. It is like a growing or expansion of a relationship. Because that's what you're going to be going into, expansive energy. So you're going to be releasing this energy of not feeling good enough with this expansion that's coming your way. Insecurities, fears, um, uh, that, 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 uh, an indecisive energy or that flip floppy energy where like maybe you feel bold and insecure. Mm, maybe not today. Oh, today I feel like I can do it. Mm, not today. Oh, today I feel very attractive. Mm, not today. You're going to be getting out of that energy. That, that's going to be being removed from your life with, with uh, vision here. That can be just meaning that you're not seeing things clearly. You're not seeing the reality of life clearly. All right. You're fluctuating. You know, it's that watery energy where sometimes it looks very clear and then sometimes it's like murky and and you know just all around you like this and you're like oh and so sometimes it's like that it's that feeling of feeling like imbalance within yourself emotionally all right not really trusting your own feelings that's going to be removed all right that insecure feeling of not really trusting how you feel about yourself that's going to be removed and you're going to be able to step up and take lead take charge of a situation all right um, this could lead to marriage this could lead to a relationship you know, but I was just thinking like this could lead to some type of completion, some type of goal, some type of end result. It could, it could, you know, because I mean? the cards do say marriage. So it could be relationship friendly type of situation. But I was thinking of more like work because work was really standing out to me. When I see Capricorn, I see Virgo. I think of work with vision here. This is usually about dreams, visions, bringing them into reality at, at times. But it's also about not really seeing things clearly. You know what I mean? So here you could just be like, living in a fantasy world about how you want to see yourself and then watching it, you know, perform itself in front of you. So you could be uh, experiencing that because you're going to come into an energy of self love and recognizing that you love yourself. That's what's going to make you feel very secure in yourself. And that's what's going to make you step up and take lead in your life or in, in general. If it's like work, you're going to step up and take lead. You may become a boss. You may get you know, promoted. You know, you may become someone who other people look to as an authoritarian even if you don't become a boss, all right? And this is going to be because you you didn't see the, the truth of a relationship. So, okay, so that's that here too. So maybe there is a marriage that's going to happen because you didn't see the truth of a relationship. You weren't seeing how this relationship was very harmonious and how it was actually a fair and given and balanced relationship, all right? You might have been listening to what other people were saying, gossipers, because we got the high priestess here, but high priestess in reverse, and that's usually about not trusting your intuition. But it could also be about information or secrets being revealed. So something like that. Maybe you weren't really seeing the truth of it, and something has been revealed. Some type of deeper truth, some type of deeper wisdom has been revealed, either through, through somebody else or you're struggling with really processing it yourself. You know, with the Queen of Cups here, there's a heart, there's a love. So you maybe you weren't really listening to the to the. Uh, the offer of love that was being given to you. There's some type of offer of love that maybe was given to you and you weren't really accepting it. But what it's saying is your tender heart is in need of care. Know that your body is here to ex help you experience a miraculous life. Embrace it. So there's some type of love or relationship that's being offered to you or that was offered to you or that is being something like that is being offered to you and you're not seeing the truth of it. You're not seeing this as a balanced, harmonious type of relationship. You know, you're basically listening to other people's intuition or listening to other people's guidance or listening to uh, some type of secret or some type of rumor that maybe has been out, has been around. And this has to do with either a, a, motherly, a mother figure or someone who's very intuitive, very gifted, very loving 
very unconditionally loving, you know, and it's, it's that type of energy. But what is this doing is going to be softening up your heart. So you're going to be releasing this energy of not really seeing this situation clearly and recognizing that you are loved, you are cherished, you are valuable. All right. And you're going to love yourself. Okay. So it's a bunch of things here. Work. You may be feeling insecure, maybe around customers, maybe around uh, co-workers, maybe with your health, maybe with your physical. And then there's a relationship for some of them, for some of you, where you guys would be recognizing that this that you needed to love yourself more, you know, and that this relationship was actually something that could have been harmonious and that, you know, you weren't really seeing it that way. That's what this, that's what the Neptune is about. It's like, you're not really seeing it clearly. So you're going to be releasing this energy of not seeing that you're loved, you know what I mean? The, <laughs> This insecurity of thinking that you're not lovable or that you are not loved, this is going to be washed away. This is what's being removed from your life. And it's going to let you step up, you know, and expose yourself or put yourself out there in a way that lets them know that you're here, that you're willing to show up for them and lead. So something like that is going to happen here. You may be feeling like currently in a time where you're not feeling like you're enough. You know, that's because Virgo rules confidence. So you may not necessarily be feeling like you're enough currently. But there's going to be some type of miraculous turnaround. And this could lead to a marriage. Um, it says just go with the flow. Don't let someone manipulate you and make you feel insecure. So it's something like that. Someone could be manipulating you and making you feel insecure. It could be a Pisces. could be a Virgo. Or just a very critical type of person who doesn't like boundaries or who doesn't want you to enforce boundaries. So it's something like that. But a wedding is taking place here. All right. Maybe with a Cancer or a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or someone who's intuitive, very loving, very nurturing, very compassionate. They have a lot of unconditional love. They could be a little bit more mature than you. They could be grounded within themselves, but they are a giver. This is someone who's a giver. They like to give, but it's going to become more aware of you to recognize that, oh, this person loves me. They really love me. They've been giving me a lot. And this, and this is why this, this feeling of not thinking you're loved or not thinking that you're good enough is getting removed because you haven't been seeing the truth of this relationship. You haven't been seeing what's really being offered to you, you know, and that's what it's about. You're not feeling good enough to think that you deserve this type of love. So it doesn't look familiar to you. And so that's going to be changing. All right. So some of you have a relationship. Some of you are worried about work and finances and how you're looking around customers or whatever or with the public or anything like that or your body or whatever. All that's going to be removed. You're no longer going to be dealing with those insecurities. And it's going to allow you to step up and take charge. All right. Be more. Uh, authority, uh, more of an authority in your life and authority possibly to others. So here's the advice. Conflict. Feelings which you have suppressed for a very long time are yearning to be acknowledged and expressed. You are torn between what you think is the right thing to do and what your heart wants. And this is the primary cause of stress in your life. We, your angels, urge you to follow your heart. Do what you would love, not what you think you should do so there was love that was being given but you weren't trusting your intuition you weren't trusting your feelings or something had been revealed to you all right and this caused like a breakup but it just means that you guys weren't really seeing the situation clearly there was like a truth that wasn't spoken so some type of truth needs to be spoken and this is why this is being removed from your life because there was a truth that wasn't spoken. there wasn't a there was a truth that wasn't spoken and possibly a breakup that caused, you know, and it could be because of um, something being revealed or feelings like someone not being emotionally, I want to say emotionally, uh, emotionally involved. So it could be like that too. But anyway, it was just a need for self-love. So that way you can feel valuable. So that way you can feel um, good enough. All right. So this what this is all about. That's why this is being removed. So that way you can feel loved and unconditionally cared for within yourself. And maybe if it's not you that's seeing the relationship this way, then it's somebody else recognizing this relationship was a blessing. So maybe that's why they're being removed because they didn't see that this was a fair and balanced relationship, that this was a blessing in disguise. They didn't see that. So this is probably why this is being removed. OK, they made you feel like you weren't good enough. So that's what this is. A relationship was being removed from some of you and. That maybe that was the marriage. Maybe a relationship is being removed from you so that way you can get married to somebody else maybe. Or it's being removed so that way that they can see that this was a relationship where they were truly and honestly loved unconditionally. Okay? So, let's go over signs one more time. We have 
uh, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Virgo, uh, Pisces, Libra, Cancer, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. It says, before you love anyone, you have to love yourself first. Okay. That was there too. So you need to know that. So this is about self-love. That's why they're being removed so that you can have more self-love for yourself. But this is going to allow you to push through those insecurities you have and be able to step up and take charge, take lead of your life. All right. And possibly become an authoritarian to others or authoritarian, at least to yourself. Okay. So pile three, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This is your boy Nooney and this is Leo in the third house. Boom, pile four. So, pile four. What's being removed from your life and why? <laughs> okay. Okay, so you've been working through childhood programming or childhood traumas or childhood behaviors, things that you've normally, that you're used to doing. Uh, it's been progressing though. So you've been growing. All right, what's being released is these patterns, these old patterns. Oh, look at that. Yep, because you've healed, because you've made clear sense of what's going on around you. You've recognized your power now. Now you're doing things only for yourself and your enjoyment. Okay, so this is good, positive change too. So this is good, and it said you're very close to achieving your goal. All right, so. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so let's go over the signs real quick. You could be a Virgo, a Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Leo, Scorpio, Aries. And we got possibly Leo again because I see a lion. Anytime I see a lion, I think Leo. All right. So you could be these signs, could be dealing with these signs. All right. Or they could just be around. You could be taking on the energy of these signs. Whatever. All right. Physical appearance is going to be changing. So if you have a goal towards that, that's going to be changing. Okay. Um, but also your early childhood goals, maybe like the dreams or ideas that you had as a child, that's going to be transforming. I think that's going to be evolving. A lot of this is about you evolving, but evolving into a bigger, larger pattern. Okay. You're going on a journey where you may need to be a bit humble. You maybe can't, uh, I'm not going to say what you can't do, but it'd probably be best if you don't, uh, proceed forward as if you have it all under control. In this case, you're needing to be a little bit more reserved, more humble, more chilled, you know, not, not uh, like, cause you, I guess you're coming into a winning period. Okay. It says, is someone from your family trying to reach out to you? Are you feeling guilt for having to defend yourself from someone you didn't want to? Can you feel the divine asking you to breathe because it's going to be okay. That's the humble energy. Okay. So someone's trying to make you dim, dim, dim down. And so you're going to need to be humble for a moment. All right. You're going to, because maybe you want to act out. Maybe you really want to go ham for something here, but it's saying trust in the divine detours that this is a situation that's leading you around to where you really want to go, but this is important. So whatever this is that you're going through is important. And because Pluto is here and progressions is here, this is a life change that is important. That was like in divine timing. I'm thinking that this is something that you've grown into. All right. Like this is now something that you're ready for. All right. So you're being detoured. You're being rerouted. All right. Your temperament is changing and your personality is changing. OK, so maybe the things that you did as a child, you were probably still exercising some of those behaviors. That's changing. You've been probably working on that. I felt like you've been working on it because you got progressions, which means you've been progressing. You've been growing. You've been evolving. Pluto is right next to it, which is about evolving, transformation, power. All right. Your looks could be changing because the self is here. First house. So your looks could be changing. Your physical appearance could be changing. Your temperament can be changing. Your personality can be changing. These things are changing. This is what's being removed. This old personality possibly of being, oh, okay, 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 okay. No, I was saying it wrong. You're not going to be humble. This is what you're removing. That energy of dimming to fit in, of 
not necessarily putting yourself first or putting yourself out there in a way that you would want to. This is a detour. So something's happening here that's taking you off the path that you thought you were meant to be on or that you were going in and it's taking you off to maybe give you a shortcut or take you to where you really wanna be. So maybe the, the path that you're on will just take you a lot longer than where you need to be or the relationship that you're in would take you a lot longer to get your needs met. Instead, this is being a divine detour, meaning that you've discovered some type of information, you've become very wise and very, uh, I wanna say assured of what you're seeing. Like, So it was once kind of foggy, kind of cloudy to you at first, but now you're like, you know what? I see this clearly. I know what I'm looking at now. You know, so now it's like facing your fears. This is what you've done. You've, a, you've uh, logically faced your fears. So this is not from an emotional sense. This is from a, a thinking period. You've thought about this and you're starting to now become clear about what you're thinking about this situation. Your thoughts have become clear. And this is giving you a sense of empowerment and a sense of personal power for sure. But it's also giving you a, a sense of feeling refreshed feeling like you have new dreams and aspirations, new goals now. So this is something that gave you um, like a spark of life again, okay? this is But this is also something that's gonna make you be a bit selfish and maybe even self-indulgent, you know, where you're only gonna be worrying about yourself. So maybe you weren't like that where you were putting yourself first, you know, because this when Pluto shows up as a rebirth, this is about a changing of the power dynamic. So at one time, someone had all the pull and all the juice and now that the relationship is, is or, or now that the situation, whoever it is, even if it's just you and yourself, maybe you were giving people your power away. Now, no sir, no ma'am. Now you're going to be the one that's the fire starter. Now you're the one that has the control. You're the one that calls the shots. That's going to be you. And you're not going to care how other people feel about it. You're going to be kind of cold, very reserved, but very smart, very straightforward, very direct. All right. What's being released is this energy of you dimming to fit in. It says, don't ever be afraid to show your true colors. So you're gonna be getting some type of money. It says symbol, this is a symbol, the angel number 888. This is a symbol of abundance. Money is about to appear in your life. So maybe people are gonna start trying to reach out to you as well. These could be people like family members who are using their power against you. Instead of using it to empower you, they were using it to destruct, you know, to distract you or destruct from you or take from you or bring you down. Yeah, that's huh, they should have jumped on the ship before it was too late, baby, because it's going down. That's pretty much what's about to happen. It says people are starstruck when you enter a room. You have charisma and you know when to take the lead and when to be humble. So that energy of you always being humble is out the window. <sighs> Forget it. It's done. Now you're going to be shouting, you know, shouting your, your praises of yourself to the rooftops. You know what I mean? But at the same time, you're not going to be running over people, trampling over people. You're being detoured to a better position or to a better place or to a better environment, to better friends, to better job, location, whatever it is. What it's saying is whatever path you're on now, the way that you're working it, the way that you were running it, the way that you were doing it is not leading you to the direction that you would like to do. So Spirit's going to jump in and say, Ugh, let me push you over here on this highway where it's not blocked, where there's no traffic, there's no, there's no stop lights, there's no stop signs. You can just free flow, just go. Go to your heart's desire. That's going to be the type of energy you're going to have. So wherever people had power over you before, you have the power now. So it could be a relationship. This could be a job. This could be a career. This could just be just you projecting on other people that they maybe have more power. They were more important. They were more structured. They were more whatever, more attractive, whatever it was. You're not going to have that anymore. It's going to be like an equalizing energy of like everyone's on this basis, but I'm the king or I'm the queen. You know what I mean? That type of shit. People are going to recognize you. So you could be going through some type of cleanse because we got cleanse here. Mm. Um, yeah, you're going to be going through this like a cleansing period. All right. So you might be in an energy of feeling like um, people can't be trusted. That's going to be re being released. That feeling of people can't be trusted. They're removing that from your life. And that feeling of not, not having an answer. You know what I mean? not having an answer. It's like, oh, I'm just going to trust in whatever spirit is going to give me. I'm just going to trust wherever I'm going and think that I'm on the right path. And that's going to be enough for me. That's how you're going to be feeling about it. All right. Journey is about, you know, taking a journey. I think of it like taking a journey. I think of like the fool, like getting started, going out there. It may not look right to everybody else, but so what? Fuck everybody else. That type of energy. All right. So you're going to be releasing this The power dynamic of where maybe you gave your power away to other people based on like something that happened in your childhood, your natural tendencies, that all is changing. You're evolving, you're growing, you're becoming more empowered in your beliefs. You're very close to achieving that goal too. 
So that was the very first card out. You're very close to achieving that goal. So be aware of that. All right, so you're gonna recognize that you're the answer, that what you desire, what you want, what's happening for you is what's meant for you. So you're gonna be feeling more, more in alignment with that, trusting your heart, okay? Leo, I think of Leo, because Leo's here and is attached to the heart sign. Leo is ruled by the heart, so that, that is a heart-based sign. So you're gonna be doing that. You know what I mean? Being very pride, being egoic within yourself though, but like a self-pride, I'm assured, all right? Like no longer giving other people a higher value than you, you know what I mean? Even if they're millionaires, billionaires, celebrities, you know what I mean? Whoever, it don't matter. It don't matter. The baddie at your, the, the dude who's who's super fine at your job, you know, who has all the ladies or the woman who's super fine at your, at your job or your gym or whatever, you're no longer going to put them on a pedestal. That's not going to happen. You're going to see yourself on the same level, if not a little higher, dare I say. But yeah. All right, so family and people are probably going to be trying to reach out to you because you're getting money. I said there's a symbol of abundance and money is about to appear in your life. So that's a big transformation. Pluto here with the, with this money attached to that. So this is big money that's coming here. All right, so an, an abundance of money is coming. Some type of money that's going to change your life or transform the power dynamic that you might have had with other people. And people are going to try to guilt you for defending yourself against them. So be aware of that. That's being removed. People who are trying to guilt you, that's when you're going to recognize, that's what that Pluto represents, that power dynamic where people were trying to use their, their influence over you to gain control of dynamics or situations, you know, and they're probably doing it through emotions, you know, or through sex or through resources. So something like that. All right. They've been doing, using it through something like that, sex, resources, or just, you know, you giving them or emotions, you know, you've been giving them your feelings and all that stuff. And they've been using that. That is psychological warfare against you, okay? It says, can you feel the divine asking you to breathe because it's gonna be okay? Of course it is. You're, in, you're coming in this transformation where you're about to come into your own power and you're about to take power of previous, uh, previous dynamics or previous relationships where you weren't getting your just due, all right? So it says the aligned outcome for you is simple, not necessarily easy. And it's never really easy when Pluto is involved because Pluto drags a lot out of you. It's a psychological, uh, a psychological cleanser. Like they really, it goes deep. You're like, God damn, it wears on you. You could be tired, not wanting to be around people, being lethargic. <coughs> um, you know, like it, 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 Pluto just kind of makes you want to like sleep or rest because it's heavy. It's heavy work. So this, you're going through like that period, and that's where the cleanse is. So you'll be cleansing. You could be taking care of your health. Could be taking care of your body because I got first health. But it says your big, beautiful heart is ready to open. Trust that you will be able to discern who is best to walk with you. And this is right next to trust divine detours. So wherever you were going with whoever you were going with, it, you're being detoured from that. All right. And you're needing to acknowledge that spirit is telling you it's going to be OK. We're taking you on another path. This is no longer is suiting you or fitting you. You're about to be on your way to another place. And you're very close to achieving that goal. All right, you're very close to, to being who you be. Like right now, they're saying that your physical appearance is catching everybody's eye, okay? They're saying that people are starstruck when you enter a room. So your presence alone is moving people, all right? And you may be in that energy of feeling like you can't trust people, but that's what's gonna be removed. Feeling like you can't trust people, feeling like you don't have the answers or that you don't always have the answers or you're not sure of what to say or what to do or you're not sure of how to present yourself. All that's gonna go away. All right, all that's being removed from your life. You're not gonna be caring about that. There's a big transformation that's going on. It's a rebirth, and this is part of your progression, part of your life journey to go down this way. But they want you to be humble at the same time, but they also are saying that they're being released from this energy of staying humble, you know, of, of allowing other people to take advantage of you. You're leaving that, you're leaving that period in time because you've become a person of power now. You're a king of swords now. King of wands in reverse. And the king of wands is just a person who's kind of pushy. He's a little arrogant. You know what I mean? And that's, you're going to be in that energy, but a little bit self-indulgent yet detached. So you'll be kind of full of yourself, if, if I'm being honest. You'll be kind of full of yourself, aware of your power, aware of your abilities, not afraid to face your fears. You know what I mean? And at the same time, expecting, expecting brand new opportunities, expecting your dreams to come true. So you're going to be in that energy of maybe coming off as kind of conceited, narcissistic, but not necessarily you may come off as that way because that's not how people would recognize you. They didn't know you as being that type of person. Maybe just the people you were dating or maybe the people that you've known from your childhood, friends, coworkers, whoever they were, 
this is not what they were expecting you to be. They were used to you being a bit more, I think you're gonna be more comfortable doing this. I think they were used to you being a little meek, not really presenting yourself, not really saying too much, not taking charge, not like being flamboyant, like, you know, just dimming. You know, I don't want people to notice me like that. Though you're very attractive, though you were noticed a lot, it's kind of like, you know, no, don't look at me, don't, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Guys, guys probably even like that. He don't want to look you in the face, you know, you know what I mean? That type of stuff. He don't want to catch eye contact. He doesn't want you to think he's being sexual. He's he's being too much, you know what I mean? So you could be like that if you're a guy or something, something similar to that, not wanting to be too much. In this case, you're going to be turning it up. I don't care. I don't care. That's how you'll be coming off. It's like, I don't care. I expect the best things out of life. I, ex I know my power. I know my worth. I know what I can do. I know my skill set. I know my abilities. I'm a creator. Ma the magician is a creator. You know what I mean? And he has intellectual skills. He has verbal. He creates through verbal and through mental skills. Then you have the king of swords here who is also a creator, but he's not really a creator. He's a, a very good communicator, interpreter, wisdom, knowledge. You've gained this from your fears. And your fears, you could have had fears of intimacy, meaning not allowing people to see you not be perfect, not allowing people to see you make mistakes, not allowing people to see you don't know. Like, I don't know. It's the unknown. How am I supposed to know? How do you know? Do you know? You're asking me like you know. It's that type of stuff. You know what I mean? Getting into that energy of being able to be like assertive and dominant and straightforward. Like, you know, no or yes. You know what I mean? Being able to say what you want and say what you mean and even being aggressive if you have to. Because it's all for your self-fulfillment now. You're going to be in an energy where it's going to come off as kind of self, you know, selfish. Only worrying about you. But this is only to the people who were taking advantage of you and taking advantage of the dynamic by using, you know, your, your power that you gave to them. They use it in a way that could have empowered you, but instead of empowering you, they use it as a way to destruct or destroy you, to take control, to dominate you. So you're, you're getting the power back from this. You know, even if there's nobody else who was taking advantage of you that you knowingly know, you're coming to the energy of you taking your, your power and not allowing other people's perceptions or projections to hinder you from going after what you desire. You won't care. You won't care. This must be a collective message because I've gotten that similar to like all the piles. You won't care though. This is you putting you first in a sense. You know what I mean? Spirit is leading you down this path so that you can know that. Like this, where you are at, where you're going is not for you. Here, let me take you down here because this is where you're meant to be. And it's going to be smoother sailing when I take you where I'm taking you. So know that. And you have the information. You have the wherewithal to make it happen. You have the, I wanted to say, I was going to say psychic ability. So maybe you're a psychic. You have the psychic abilities or you have the great intuition to do this. Okay. So know that. But they do need you. They want you to be humble at the same time, but you're going to fluctuate between being humble. Like don't dim to fit in, but at the same time, don't trample and overrun people. All right. So you're going to be releasing that energy of always feeling meek and humbled and not wanting to express yourself and not wanting people to see you and not wanting people to hear you. And, you know, let me just relax. I don't want people to, I don't want to rock the boat, that type of stuff. You're going to get over that. That's being removed from your life. Okay. And you're going to come into an energy of your own personal power of knowing who you are and what you can do and, you know, and doing it and not caring what other people feel about that. All right. So here's your advice. Positive change. Dare to be different. When you are criticized, remember that you would never please everyone. That's the king of wands. I don't care. <laughs> May many brilliant and gifted individuals were not fully appreciated or understood in their own lifetime. Yet, it is often they who have sown the seeds of change. Positive change is coming and it's going to be initiated with you, pile number four. So, pile number four, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This is your boy Nooney and this Leo in the third house.